trying to Okay, balik po tayo from Ferdi Pasyon, Association of Philippine Worker, Overseas Workers Incorporated, AFOWI. Uh, sobrang mahal po ng remittance charges para sa aming OFWs. Bakit di babaan? Bakit di gumawa ng OFW Bank o, uh, owned by OFW themselves with help from government? Di ba dapat may majority ng monetary board na representatives of government? Di ba dapat may OFW represent sa monetary board dahil malaki ang OFW dollar reserves? Well, alam po ninyo, the question there is it's not, a que not just a question of somebody who comes from the OFW, but whether he has the competence and the familiarity with a lot of economic concepts and a lot of the workings of the econo economic and the uh, financial and the banking sectors of the, of the country kung gusto mong malagay sa monetary board. Now, I know there have been appointments in the, in the past in the monetary board that I just question. <laughs> whether these people were smart enough to work themselves out of a paper bag. But uh, that was before. Now, ang composition ngayon ng monetary board, eh, I have no comment on that for the moment. Kanya lang, if I'm going to judge, I'm sure this has gone through them. Uh, this is a terrible wish list. Okay? But from 0933-947-4769. Bakit nagpautang tayo ng 1 billion sa IMF tapos umutang pa rin tayo? 60 billion ang utang natin tapos 80 billion ang ating dollar reserves pero inuutang pa rin pina, umuutang pa rin tayo. Bakit di na lang bayaran utang at may matitira pang 20 billion? Okay. Yung maalala niyo, no, we took that up here in the program yung pa, yung binigay kunyari eh, sa sa uh, sa IMF na 1 na 1 billion or uh, 1 billion na kunyari pahiram. No, but actually that was a paper transaction. Uh, it is available and the, the country can get it back anytime. It's no problem. Uh, it is a testament to the fact that they think, Uy, kaya na pala niyo magpahiram. Hindi naman kayo araw-araw umuhiram sa amin. But yung pagbihiram naman ng gobyerno is project-related usually. So, ayun, papatayo ka ng MRT extension. O, ayun, kailangan mo ng pera doon. Kasi, siyempre, bisan, either the private sector or the government will, will borrow part of the money. But this is one other point, of course, that I, I wanted to raise in this is that, for example, a country like Singapore, which is a lot of money, set aside a portion of their international resource, and they call it sovereign wealth. And they put up the institution called Temasek. I don't know if you're familiar with Temasek. Ang ginagawa ng Temasek na yun, using the, the part of the international reserves, ginagamit to invest outside of Singapore Investing. to try to see if they can make money and build it up. Kasi kung ilalagay mo sa banko yun ng dollar mo, wala ka makikitain, maski na ano. So might as well begin to go into alternative investments. And the beneficiary of that is the nation of the Philippines. Kung lagay mo, nagtabi ka ng 10 billion for that, nagawa mo 20, 25 yan, di ang nakinabang ang ating bansa. Uh, so that is something that of course uh, I think also is worthy of consideration. And I don't see anything here that even vaguely re relates to it. Another use of our international reserves, because it's large, is you can then uh, begin to create an investment company to invest in the PPP projects of the government. Pwede rin niyang mangyari na sana ma-incorporate dito sa uh, change in the charter to give them the ability to set up an investment company. Alright, from 0917408841, Kadante, Heartbeat, bakit nabuksan bank account ni CJ Corona without his consent? during the impeachment trial. It was illegally opened. Uh, hindi, ah. hindi officially opened yun. Actually yun, ang ito yung kaming uh, sasabi ka ni Ka Nelson dito, that was not officially opened. Uh, may nag-feedback na eh, ng mga kung bakong, bakit tinanggap yan na si Bidensya, sapagkat yung mga tao sa Senado, eh hindi naman yan mga uh, batikasang, eh, ba, ka, they are not judges of the court, they are just judges of the impeachment trial, and their motivations are very political. So, dito, uh, even the way, for example, I'll be very blunt with you, kapatid, yung, the resolution and the way it was signed in Congress and the way it was, arms were twisted, I think, cries out to heaven for vengeance. Ang dami ko story na dinig, hindi mo lang pabayaan basahin yung resolution, kailangan pumirma ka or else. So, yan ang ating nakikita dyan. So, uh, kung nangyari po yun, eh, nakalampas at nakaraan, I do not know how to answer that, whether uh, sometimes in the pursuit of political objectives, the fine points of the law are forgotten and uh, get trod upon, atatapaktapakan, di ba, Nelson? From 0933 This is for you. 
What is Congress doing about the excessive and exorbitant <coughs> ATM charges? Uh, marami salamat to sa tanong. Alam niyo, yung section 2 ng bill na ito, which is also section 3 ng Republic Act 7653, ini-increase ho natin ang regulatory powers uh, on a more specific manner. Kasi nung araw po, ang nangyayari doon sa batas, ang nakalagay po doon, if I may read, ang supervisory authority ho nito was so big because it only said and other non-bank financial institutions performing quasi-banking operations. Pero ngayon, no, ina-identify na namin doon sa bagong bill kung alin ang mga dapat talaga i-regulate ng, uh, ng uh, Bangko Sentral. Meaning kasama na po dyan yung mga pawn shops na under uh, PD114, oh, ay ang pawn shop eh, pwede lang i-visit Corial Rights ang Bangko Sentral. Hindi na nila pwedeng... Uh, investigan yan. Alam mo, you know, they're doing a poor job out of supervising the banks and you want to add all of these things there. Uh, you want to double the employment or the uh, number of employees in the BSP. I don't know if that's in, as necessary. Because, the, it's so provided though oh, by law. We're just specifically saying you're na... You're more specific. Opo, na ito covered ito. Like, Pero in-expand mo ang power. Hindi, kagaya ko nung sa ATM, tinatanong, hindi po in-expand. Ina-identify lang mo namin. Kasi tingnan nyo po, yung credit card companies, I'm sure the people will complain ang taas ng interest rate ng credit card companies. They will present it in such a manner na, oh, 1.5%, 2% a month. That's not Pero true. Pero napakalaki. Ang laki ho niyan, totoo. No, no, no. They're charging 3.5% per month. What are you talking oh. about? I don't know any so, card company that's charging 1.5%. So, under the present the law, yung 7653, ang pwede lang i-regulate ng Banko Sentral, are the, camp, the credit card companies that owned are by owned the by the banks. And they are the, sub, the, 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 the greater number. Oh, so now we are making sure that all credit card companies will be uh, regulated and supervised by Banco Central. Meron pa isa, yung money changers. Alam niyo bang ang under the present law, ang requirement lang ng money changer ay mag-register sa Banco Central. And after that, wala na specific supervisory function ng Banco Central. Dapat ito yan, ma-address. Ito mga ATM machines na ito. They are distinct from bank, banks yung, yung iba hong pangalan. Eh. Hindi naman nung yung pag-aari ng banko. De, so dapat ma-regulate po yan. Ang talaga. pwede sigurong gawin, first of all, Sige, you identify, po, po. lahat ng subsidiary and allied institutions under the bank come under the supervision. I will tell you why. In the States, there are capital leveraged regulations. No? You can gear up in the Basel II and the Basel III. Okay. That's this, no? Uh, meron kang limitation. But to overcome, let's say, the seven times or eight times gearing ratio permitted by Basel based on free capital, gagawa sila ngayon ng another institution na kanila din, but it falls under another supervision. Kasi iba na. Iba na. And they will say, hindi, hindi na andito. Maski na sa amin yan, it's not under you. Ganito rin po yan. Tama po kayo, Manong Reza. Kanya, yung subsidiary at affiliates, kailangan talagang mapasok. Sa present system po, ang subsidiaries na sa kaalaman ng ating mga tagapanood, alam nyo, pag sinabi subsidiary, dapat yan 51% and above is owned by the bank. At pag sinabi naman ng affiliate, it's 49% and below percent ng ownership ng banko. Pero ang lahat ng yan, no, covered ng regulation ng Banko Sentral to the level na nagpe-perform sila ng quasi-banking function. Maybe what you should do is define it better. Opo, okay. po, Maybe if you own, if bank owns 25% or more, hindi, ito pong bill na ito, Pero, if you are a affiliate or subsidiary, regardless of your operations, the whole uh, gamut of the affiliate or, or subsidiary can be regulated and, no, not regulated, can be uh, inspected or examined okay. by Banco Central. I will also expose another aspect of it that has to be looked at by the Banco Central. Ano po ito? How does the bank manage a subsidiary or affiliate? No. Ah, in other words, you cannot just that let will be that addressed po by one. Ma -address din yun. That will be addressed po by one uh, specific provision of this bill. Hindi lang yung ATM charges ang dapat yung tingnan. Tingnan ninyo, ito naman sa banko directly, ang kanilang charges if they say your account is dormant. Alam bang inuubos nila ang savings ng maraming tao? Opo, totoo yun. Be They because oh, hindi ko makakalaw itong account mo, bam, banat ka ng... Charges na ganyan. After a certain na, period of time po na inactive ang account, halimbawa, oh, nagpunta siguro sa abroad yung mayari or ay, bas, 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 na service charge. Opo. Ito na nga ang ganito. Tapos, tinataas pa nila 
ang uh, minimum deposit mo, minimum balance. Not deposit, but minimum For balance. For you to be... Para makapagbukas ka ng account. And that means you're shutting out a large portion of the poor people from the banking system. Ayan, maganda po. Nabanggit yan ni Manong Ray. Eh, so uh, ating eh, paano ba ito? Are we inclusive or extractive? The bias for greed in the banking system is terrible. Alam mo niyo, Manong Ray, there is a survey that says only 20% of the public is, bank, is uh, dealing with banks. Yun ang 80%, dapat ma-encourage natin o mabigyan natin ng pagkakataon na makapagbanko. Pero ngayon, yan ang rural bank. Paano mo namang gagawin yan, Ka Nelson, kung binabayaran mo ng one-tenth of one percent and from inflation alone, lugi na ako. Lugi. Aba, e, paano yan? Hi, from 0933-947-4769. Maraming magagaling na OFW na economist sa ibang bansa na nag-retire na dito na pwede sa monetary board, I guess. Uh, true, but I please Kailan tell Pilipino. me who they are so maybe we can pass it on to the central Saka bank or no, to, the, to the palace para ma-appoint sila. Ha? Kanya lang, napakadaming gustong malagay sa monetary board. I don't know <laughs> kung makakalusot. Alam mo kumisan dito, ang kailangan nila talaga ilagay sa monetary board somebody with a sense of cooperation but that retains principle and integrity. After the appointment. After, after the appointment. Pero yun naman po ang principle. Gusto ko ipaalam din sa kanilang lahat, alam ito ni Manong Ray, na pagka po kayo na-appoint sa monetary board or na-appoint kayong central bank governor, meron po kayong security of tenure. Meron po kayong pitong taon kung saan kayo ay makakapagtrabaho doon. Katulad po nung nag-resign na si uh, Mr. Bunye uh -huh. at si Attorney Bunye dahil uh, sa kanyang personal na daylan, Meron pa ho siyang natitira sa term niya na hanggang July. So kung mag appoint po ang ating Pangulo ng bagong kapalit niya, ang term, term of office po noon ay hanggang July na lang. Oh, then of course, it can always be renewed, renewed by the yes. President. Uh, 0920-962-2313 from Sandy Castro. Takasaan ka ba, Sandy? But in any case, kailan ba po talaga mapapasayang batas na yan? Bakit matagal? Ano ang proseso at asan na tayo sa proseso? Nasa Ay, working committee ka ni Congressman. Nasa committee level po. Alam po naman ninyo, ang badali po ang gumawa ng batas. Pero ang gusto po ng inyong chairman at ng kanyang mga kasama at siguro po yun ng Kongreso ay makagawa tayo ng isang batas that can stand the test of time. Na That's wise tapos na po kami prudent. Congressman. Hmm. Ay di yun naman ang batas na maalala ninyo na kaya ganyan ay dahil we were forward looking at ang lahat po ng mga dapat mangyaring, maaring mangyari ay in-anticipate namin sa batas na ito. Okay, kanya maraming bahagi ng batas na ito na pag-uusapan pa, pagdedebatihan oh, pa, oh, pag-ihiring oh, oh. pa. Kanya, wag po kayong, ika nga, do not lose patience. A law of this kind, that the amendment of the charter, which is not simply to recapitalize the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, oh, oh. but to be able to, 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 to address at, concerns. Uh, or address all of their seeming concerns and find the right answer, mapakahirap. It takes prudence and wisdom. Para masabi po ah. sa nag-text kayo, Manong Ray, alam Opo. mo ba na ninyo na noong 10th Congress pa lamang, ay nag-file na ho ang mga congressmen ng bill to amend the, the charter. charter. Yun ay 10th Congress. Meaning, eh, in the last tayo. 21 years, so, wala ho na ipapasang amendment. Sapagkat napakahira po dahil kailangan mabalanse, eh. Marami yung stakeholders, kailangan i-address lahat yan. Sana ho'y unawain nyo na sinisigap namin gawin ito, isang batas na tutugon sa pangangailangan ng Banko Sentral at ng kanilang mga polisiya at tutugon din naman para ma-safeguard na ang mga nagbabangko ay hindi naman magiging uh, subject to harassment, if I may say so. Nais ko rin nung sabihin sa inyo na sa kasalukuyan, no, sa kaunting panahon ako ang chairman, Manong Ray, okay. eh ang tingin ko po naman ni ang liderato ng Banko Sentral sa pangunguna ni Governor Titangko ng mga Deputy Governors ay talaga hong uh, mga upright at talaga kanilang ginagawa. At katunayan, no, kasama sa bill na ito, Manong Ray, ay i-increase natin ng, tat ng lima mula sa tatlo ang bilang ng deputy governors. Nakikiusap lang po yung rural bankers na kumari daw ay ang isang deputy governor ay maging uh, specifically for rural banking. Ang sabi ko po naman ay siguro ay dapat internal na yan ay di kung ano ang dapat ibigay na assignment sa mga bagong deputy governors ang nakakaalam po niya na yung monetary board at saka ang Banko Sentral. 
Al alam mo, Congressman, minsan iniisip ko na yung rural banks is the weak link in the economy, the banking economy. That may be another corporation may be established to simply supervise the rural banks because the central bank obviously is not doing a good job of supervising, simply closing them. Ay, in other words, <laughs> kung madidiscover mo ang problema kasi mamamatay na yung pasyente and you will simply preside over a funeral, you're not doing the job of supervising and anticipating. Pero napakahalaga din dyan is the issue of training the management of rural Bank banks to make ba sure that dala nila ang competence to be able to manage those little banks. Actually po, yun po nais ko i-report sa mga tagapanood natin that uh, there are more or less 1,600 rural banks. Alam nyo, nasara na ang anim na raan yan. Alam nyo ang pinakamalaking reason kung bakit nasasara? Mismanagement. Mismanagement, which is why pinupuri ko po mga rural bankers ngayon. Noon lang pong lunes, ako po ay nagsalita sa grupo ng pinakamalaking region ng mga rural bankers, ang Southern Tagalog Rural Bankers Association, Confederation, at sila po ay ang topic ay reinventing the rural banking system at ang kanila pong training ay management of the banking system. Sapagat ang rural banks, so, meron tayong isang libot, anim na raan na munisipyo, marami yung munisipyo, walang rural bank, walang Wait, bank. Nasarado na yung anim na raan, eh, paano? Zero nine one nine two two one two five six two. Congressman Colantes, pwede po bang maamendin yung interest sa mga deposit accounts? Kasi parang baliwala sa liit. Hindi ko po, hindi po yung concern sa lahat. Kung pwede lang o itas, itatas namin ni Manong Ray. Pero ang nagdi-decide po niyan is the the bank itself. The bank itself at sa kayo nung economy natin. Pero hindi. Pero alam mo. Ibinababarin po ang inflation. No, but. At sa akin tingin, uh, Congressman, isang bagay ang napakahalaga. When you examine a, an economic system, you take a look at the spread between borrowing and lending rates. Ang laki sa atin. And when it is so big, that is, means that the economy is extractive. Sa Amerika, zero banking is halos din ang deposito. Pero pag gumiram ka, 2%, 3% lang. Opo. Ha, eh dito, pag humiram ka, 12%, this is 6%, tag credit card mo, 3.5% per month, which translates of over 40% effective rate per annum. So, dito mo titingnan na uh, the market is lacking in one thing. Lahat ng investment bank, tinanggal na from the scene. Pero lalaki, Walang lalaki, intermediation lalaki. force that in effect brings that, brings that uh, gap lower to something that is much more economically reasonable. That will and that's a policy, that's a monetary policy that involves both monetary policy and the structural aspects of the banking system. Kanina lang pong umaga, kausap ko po yung aking sister-in-law. Sabi niya, akala ko ba, mababa na mga interest rate. I'm borrowing money, sabi niya, from a commercial bank. And the interest rate preferential treatment is 8%. Eh, pero pag nag-deposito po kayo ngayon sa commercial one bank... One-tenth of one percent. One percent po siguro wala. time deposit. Wala one na. One-tenth of one percent. So, ang nangyayari po, in effect, I, I'm sorry to say this, ang kumikita na malaki are the banks. In other I words, and you look take a look at their profit growth, incredible, from 0919-420-3328. Yes. Hindi ba kung nag-grow sila kasi magaling sila eh. Hindi, but it's from the spread ng gagaling sa tao. I'm learning a lot from you, Mr. Rosa. I thank you po. Same in health. More power to your program. You're a picture of good health and a bright mind. Bla. Ay, mm -hmm. salamat po. Uh, huwag kayong masyadong magitla sa akin. Kanya lang na-excite na po sa topic ni Congressman dito. Eh. <laughs> uh, sapagat dyan po ako sa profesyon ng banking lumaki. Amen. Pati tatay ko. Ah, bankero din po. Oo. My father was also a banker and he founded three banks. So, sinundang ko lang yung kanyang mga baitang. So, uh, kanya ako ay medyo lumaki sa ganyang atmosphere. So, but in any case, pag tinignan natin dito, dito, this is what I'm saying, that there is a failure of policy. Ang nangyari kasi dito, in the fear na ang mga banko hihina, there was a deliberate attempt to take the money from the savers and let the banks profit from it. Because of the very wide spread between deposit cost and lending, lending rates. Cost. And what is that? They kinuha mo yung pera sa bulsa ni Pedro Mahirap at nilagay mo sa bulsa ni Pedro Mayaman. Now, how that is inclusive and the central bank is a signatory to that agreement for an inclusive economy, I don't know.
Uh, 0933-947-4769. Dapat BSP Governor si Sir Ray, or at least consultant ng Congress, alam po ninyo. Matagal ko nang tinanggihan yung trabaho dyan. Because there was a time they were asking me to join the, 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 the CB. And I declined it. At uh, consultant, I, I, I consult with everybody who wants to ask me. Kanya lang wala pong gusto magtanong sa akin. Mas Ako! <laughs> Kaya dito ko na lang dinadaan ang frustration ko sa programa para madinig ninyo. Sapagat sa akin, ano man ang poder at kalayaan at kapangyarihan ng Banko Sentral, kailangan nilang maintindihan, they are serving the larger interest of the great majority of the people. Amen. Not a specific segment simply to keep it strong at the expense of everybody. Kanya dyan, nagmumula yung too big to fail kind of syndrome na lumaki sa Amerika. And if you go to the States, even the Federal Reserve is not as popular as you think. They, some, there are some segments there that want to cancel the franchise of the Federal Reserve. Kaya nga nila, since the Federal Reserve was established in 19, I think it was 1913, until today, the U.S. dollar has lost 96% of, val of its value. So, was it efficient? Was it effective? There's only one answer, no. Hey, I want to, don't want to forget something. Binigyan ko nga din si Congressman ito eh. Alam po ninyo yung ating revolution of goodness. Eh, isang minuto na lang tayo. Huwag nyo kalimutan. Do good for the day. Ang kailangan lang naman dito, one good deed a day, every day. And then write us and we will send you all of these ballers para, mag, para sa inyo at para maipamigay ninyo dun sa mga kasama ninyo. Yan ang paraan para mabago itong ating bansa. Somebody has to do good if, no, if everybody else is doing wrong. Kailangan mabalansi natin ng konti, hindi ba? Ah, kabayan? Amen, amen. amen. Ah, Alright, I want to thank you for being with us tonight. Congressman, salamat po sa inyong pagdating. Salamat And po. And good luck on these things. I pray that God will give you wisdom ah. Ah, and perspicacity to be able to find out what the real issues are and go for the proper solutions. And I wish that for your whole committee and the whole House of Congress. Salamat po, Manong Ray, sa inyong imbitasyon. Makakaasa po kayo at ang ating mga kababayan that we only have the best interest of every Filipino at, at that in trying to craft a bill that will address all these monetary concerns. And also, don't forget, we can have the best intentions, but sometimes we will also have a disagreement. That's of part course. of the game. Of course. Di ba? Of course. Okay lang yan. We have to have a freedom of expression and a freedom of conscience. We will have to deal with issues. 288 congressmen with different versions of of the truth. How, how it should be done. <laughs> salamat po. And I hope you enjoyed our program tonight. God bless you. We'll see you next Maraming week. Salamat. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to our show, Heartbeat. Ay, salamat. marami pong uh, salamat. Marami rin yung lalaki. Ang ayaw rin ang divorce. Change, meaning introduction of new politics. Uh, Natutuwa ako na... Dito And ringgo. all that, or just katito. Kapuan uh, ng linggo ng kanyang panunungkulan. And it went from 5 peso and 30. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to our show, Heart Ay, salamat. marami pong uh, salamat. Marami rin yung lalaki. Ang ayaw rin ang divorce. Change, meaning introduction of new politics. Uh, natutuwa ako na... Dito And ringgo. all that, or just katito. Kapuan ng linggo ng kanyang panunungkulan. And it went from 5 peso and 30...